Hi everyone, and this is the match between Lee Walker and Darren Morgan, the first round of World Senior Championships 2021. So let's enjoy it. That's brilliant, isn't it? That seems perfect. Oh. Yeah, people always say. Uh, and that was a little bit delayed there, Dennis. I mean, he was just up there. 12. And make no mistake, Darren will have been putting a lot of practice in. Practice if they have the facility. 20. Liked a little cannon there. He just drifted past that loose red. If he'd have cannoned it. 28. Perfectly played. Don't want to put him off again, JV. Watch the reverse side. Well played. He hadn't got the perfect angle on the black, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to. 44. Well, he certainly settled into the pace of the table, hasn't he? Beautifully. It's just about all right, but he's got to know. 52. Another beautiful positional shot. Leaving the choice of two reds to the right corner. Once again, he's played it out. Perfect. OK, he flicked the other red, but... 60. Oh, right in the heart 60. of the pocket. Now, wouldn't this be something? The very opening frame. 76. Complete control of the cue ball. With the 17 points needed for the, the century. 84. You can see now why Darren has won the World Seniors Championship. 92. Mm, just about on the blue, it's a little bit. Yeah, nicely played. Slow up. Nineteen. And she goes perfect on the pink. Fantastic! What a start from Darren Morgan. Now could he go on and clear the table? He's just come up a long way short. I don't know whether he got a heavy contact. Pity, but what a marvellous start that was from Darren Morgan. I'm just trying to work it out, Dennis. Uh, 112 behind, 27 remaining. How many snookers? <laughs> 45. Oh, you already did. You already worked out. It's just a matter of... Uh, and I, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, Darren knows why he's doing this. So, uh, maybe Darren should stick in the yellow up or something. But... No. But as I say, if, if Lee gets a chance to pop the L, he'll try and information. Do you know, there's someone, a Raymond Snowball, believe it or not, he loved snooker and used to watch it with his mum and grandmother, and he loved it. So uh, 
He's uh, ob obviously going to uh, unscrewed the length of the table and potted the pink and black to win his only frame. No. Yeah. It wasn't you, was it? No. Funny you should say that, John. <laughs> As I say, this is. Oh, Darren certainly doesn't. No. Anyway, there's no law against it. Oh. You could see Lee just stretching there, stretching his shoulders back. But you know, Darren was queuing so well just to get him out of a, a bit of rhythm. Now Darren's playing snooker. This frame could. Uh yeah, that's a point. If they both play snooker, who's going to think about potting the ball? They'll both try and pot the ball if they get a chance. Assuming because it's the first frame and that's why Lee's playing on. But yeah, you're quite right. Uh, he also wants to knock Darren out of his rhythm. True. Five. And that's how Lee will be teaching his pupils because he is a world... Uh... So it's definitely... I suppose you're under a bit of pressure... Where's the side? 20. No side, but I'm going to give him a little bit of points anyway. Anyway, in goes the black. So he did have a bit of Darren table time, bit of practice, but uh, it was Darren Morgan with that marvellous break of 112. In fact, he's gone the other side of the table. Same break off, but you're hoping to get in behind the green and. Not quite, but. And he did. And he wasn't far away. But he knew the only ball he could leave was the one he had a go at. But One of the guys and... Uh all the tinsel that is shot out of the machine, you know, when you, the winner picks up his trophy. But <laughs> they've been trying to get it off all morning, still in. Well, just shows you, see. They've still got that mindset, haven't they, of... Surprised he played it like that, Dennis. Oh, what? yeah, that's okay. I thought he was going to run a bit too far. This is the first chance. And he'll be very disappointed to have missed that red to the right corner. As you say, the referee wouldn't have known, but... You just get up immediately. That pink is Darren. Fifteen. Can he get enough points at this visit to win the frame? Just a bit too straight he was there on the pink. There's a little gap but needs a good shot. No. Unless he's finished on the black, that's a bonus. That was the problem, he was just running away from the reds. Better Morgan, 29. the pink they're not far off they're not far off one 
to get tight up behind this yellow. Dan Morgan one. The ball carrier taking Dennis's shot twice across. It's amazing how they slide though off the second cushion. Man, he's wide. He's wide. Oh, well, miss will be called, but it won't be. Now let's have a look, there's a... Eight. Good chance to take frame number two. And here it comes. Nope. Anyway, it's just a safety. Better Morgan, oh, 14. Goes back to his seat. 38 point lead. This could be good if it sneaks up behind the yellow. No. Oh, what a miss. I'm surprised he didn't try and he swing it around the angles. He just played a thin snick off it. Mm, that black sandy, you know. Well played there. Good shot back. Oh well that's One. more than just right. What a fluke. Once again One. somehow he's got to get to that. As we show you the fluke there. You know he held his hand up but it won't make Lee feel any better. Now the last time he was in this sort of position. Oh, almost always oh, it done the hit and hope. He played the hit and hope. One. Oh, he came to the table thirty five points in front. One of them with a colour. It looks plain sailing. Seven. And just about makes it into the pocket. Well, he decided, but uh, he probably uh, thought the only red he could leave was the one he's playing, and that's exactly what he's done. Well, you can't afford to miss those. Uh, anyway, just this red to go 49 points ahead with 43 remaining. Well, I thought he might be able to cut it in. Obviously, well, trying the pot there, and he's going to leave this red. He's going to leave this red. One. Give him one for that though. As long as he hasn't snooped himself in the black. He's got a round of applause. Oh, he tried to cut it back in, but he's looking very Andy comfortable. Andy. Lee concedes the frame, and Darren Morgan, the former seniors world champion, takes frame number two. This for a place in the last eight. But you, you never know with these type of form. I just get the feeling that Lee. A little bit merry. Bit too much pace. You just feel that Lee needs to get first chance in, and, and obviously this just put a little bit of doubt in Darren Morgan's mind. But this is an excellent uh, 
safety from Darren. He just got to get this just right. It's a good line. Good line. Oh, but just nice. short. It's a bit narrow this time. Thinner than uh, he intended. That's why he's come on and off the port cushion. And if he misses the green, that will be excellent. Good shot. That's just sent a red towards the corner pocket, but. Maybe the kiss on the green has helped. Well, he couldn't hope for much, much better. That's the nature of the game of snooker. Eight. Tough old game. But as we always say, when you sat in your chair and the other man... Winning the frame at this visit, well, that would. Oh, we put a quick one in there. No, me. Okay. He's having to use the blue and bolt colour if he runs out of position, but it's obviously enough in the middle though. Okay. Yeah, it was heading that way, but yeah, he did and played it well. If anything, he played it too well. Things to consider, he's made a pretty good job of that. 23. That was a good effort. Oh, well, 29. he tried to stay on the black, and three points the difference. So he's right back in the frame. We walk up 29. Oh, what was that, Darren? That's one of the worst shots he's played in this. Mm, has he got the right one. side of the blue? Oh, this is very well played indeed. No, he was hoping to uh, spin up towards the blue there. Didn't play the pot there. He was trying to he walk sneak seven. in behind the green. Just gone a little bit too far. He didn't feel that he could hold it, but he's played it perfect this time. All he has to do is come up. Looks to adjust it nicely.
to the blue, it is. As I say, this would. So he's done well here, and look back to Darren when he was in, and he had that straightforward pink off the spot. It could be a big turning point, uh, John. But Darren was, well, it looked like he was going to go on and. Green's not gone in, but uh, 30 points to lead. And that should dot the I's and cross the T's. Well, Darren Morgan will think he can win. Seven. And it's been good quality snooker. Obviously, the first frame was. Well. Pink doesn't go Walker, in, but as well. I say, that should be enough. So well played, Lee Walker. Gets his uh, first frame on the scoreboard. And he still trails 2 1 to Darren. Relished and cherished every moment of being here at the, uh, the Crucible Theatre. That's a pretty, uh, what we call an attacking safety, where he's opened quite a few of the reds up there. One. He now doesn't feel as though he can play the brown, so just rolling up tight behind the yellow. He walk over one. Good cue ball. Now he needs the blue to come to his rescue. <laughs> well, what a shot! Sure that's... do. Where's that? Uh, <laughs> where's that button? <laughs> well, that was amazing. Wasn't it? Walker one. It just shows you he looks to be in all kinds of trouble. Oh, he's hanging his head down there. He's going back. But we see that so many times at Snooker, don't we? You... No, it was. Uh... Where's the cue ball going? Oh, it's all right. Mm. Overcut it. Slightly worrying times for me, Dennis. One. Mm. That's a very good recovery. So oh. it might be okay when the black is respotted. Step back. I assume the black is freely available. Well, and just that little screw shot, very nicely. Well, he used all the pocket there. Having to go up for the blue, but he's played it well this time. Here. 26. It's okay. Played in nicely. 44. Yeah, left a perfect angle on the black now. 
42. Forty-nine. Yeah, this red into the right middle pocket will put him. Fifty-seven. And that pink going in. And I think that well, he's just about to this red to the right corner. Didn't quite get into that, but listen, just looking at the way these reds are. Well, he might pot none, but it doesn't really matter. He's done more than enough, and Darren Morgan stays in his seat. And a terrific performance from Lee Walker. We've got our deciding frame, JV. Terrific match. The evening session lineup, seven times champion of the world, the king of the crucible, Stephen Hendry, playing Patsy Fagan. Got it a bit thin, but the yellow may come to his rescue here, has it? Of course, Lee is a very close friend, and you see him a lot with Mark Williams, so he hasn't adapted Mark's break-off shot where you just come off the... Who's got the bump in the middle pocket? Well, normally when you do that, you possibly leave a pot on, but... And where's this red going towards the left middle? Oh, oh, has the brown come to his rescue? Yeah, it was a bit too straight. He didn't have much of an angle, so... He's played it well. That's a terrific shot from Darren. In fact, he may have left. Sorry. 30. looked at that red that you mentioned John so you can see to bring any of the other reds into play so but he's got a chance now he's left that red as a bit of insurance so he can go into the oh he's got into it too much okay, one. play a little soft cannon onto the pink no, he could hold it for a red to the right corner. Up to seven. He's leaving this long red up past the pink and he could have played it a little better. Oh, excellent shot from Darren Morgan there. stuck. You think he must get this one? No, but look where he's put the cue ball. He had more safety in mind. It's not completely safe. No, a bit on the thick side and that. Well, I say it. That would be the order of the day, wouldn't it? He's played the double. Thought it was worth the risk. That's not good enough. He wanted that white tight on the cushion. One. Well, he's got the pot, but you can <laughs> tell he had a bit of safety in mind. Yeah. He won't be leaving anything. Well, I say he won't be leaving anything. He's hit it that hard. Oh, he's left a tempter here for Lee Walker. Said it thick again, and it was a free shot. <coughs> well, he's not played it into the middle.
he'll be happy with that. And once again, he's hit it on the thick side. That was the three attempts, two into the right. Well, this is just pushing it down. He's going to leave him another red to the left middle, or the right middle. And once again, he's hit it on the thick side. There is a pocket there, isn't it? But don't miss the pot. Got it, played it perfectly. Played it perfectly, and that could now set up. Yes, it was just pure pressure on Lee Walker there, those four reds that he tried. No. If he takes the brown, he's going to need one more red. Yeah, and I was just thinking myself, Dennis, if, if this is a... An example of what's to come. We're going to be in for a tremendous tournament. We've got the quality. Doesn't want to fluke this. Well... I suppose he would have rather smidgen of left hand side just to bend it slightly. Yep. One. And that uh, should be it now, really. And that pink goes in, and now no way back to the table for Lee Walker. Nice feeling this for Darren just to get. I've been very impressed with the way he's played. You need a good start. It was Darren Morgan who had the good start. And then Lee was always playing catch-up on this deciding frame has had little chance. Well, a few half chances, those. If you could have knocked one of them in, it could have been a completely different result here. Darren finishing off the way he started this match. Noted this performance from Darren. 39. 42. Nicely played. No naughty snooker here. Judd likes to entertain Judd Trump, doesn't he? But we had a Judd Trump shot, didn't we? Which will. But no, no naughty snooker from. Break building, and in goes the black, and Darren Morgan is in the quarter-final. That was a terrific match, high standard, tremendous break from uh, Darren Morgan. Well, Darren, just step forward. We'll try and keep it arm's distance from one another. You, st you started brilliantly, and then Lee did well, to be fair, to drag you back to a decider. Um, I had the perfect start, really, didn't I? You know, uh, he was a bit unfortunate with the shot he played to, to leave me the red, and I've, I've I've gone for an awkward red. It's gone in, obviously. I nearly done the total clearance. Was, you know, to start off with the sentry, a bit nervy, and it, you know, nerves are jangling. That so it was great, and then the, I controlled the second frame, and then the third frame I got in perfect, and I was on twenty odd, and it's a fatal thing, and it's in my head. I've won three 0 The match is mine. I'm on the pink. Is he? You know, you pop the pink. 99 times out of 100, and I've just I've just come across the cue ball, and the minute I missed the pink, I thought, mm, balls don't forgive you. And then to be fair to him, then you know, you know he's he's played fantastic after that, and um, he's given me half a sniff in the final frame. And when I've you know I've gone for the shots positively, like on the black, I could have dropped the black in for the loose red, and I thought no, split him. If I miss the black, yeah, I'm giving him a chance to counter attack. But if the black goes in the split, nice. It could be the end of the match. The minute I didn't get on a red properly, I was 52 ahead. I thought, it's one of these, I, I'm going to get this pinched off me, you know. But uh, no, I'm really pleased the way I, I queued. And you could see there as well with a couple of frames that he won. Once he settled in and he got into it, he, he was queuing very well as well. I was watching much of the match with the rest of the guys back in the practice area. And they said, it looks like you've been putting a bit of practice in. There was, there was some nice touches out there. Have you been practicing hard? I have. 
I have been practicing. Uh, uh, I, I won't say hard, but the, the last three weeks, I've been going in my club. Obviously, seven to eight, and I'm building it house. I am so all my time is taken up with that at the minute. Um, so I've been going in for an hour every morning, seven seven to eight, and, and just doing that hour. And you know, in practice, I've been playing great, playing on my own, obviously. But um, so you never know. You know, when you play someone and you're in a match atmosphere, but uh, I'm very pleased with the way I hit it then. Yeah, it was, it was a great performance and a great match with which to start this year's Rocket World Seniors. Any preference, whether it's Jimmy or Tony in the quarters? Look, I, look, I come up here, yeah, you take one match at a time, you know. I, I knew uh, playing Lee, you know, I had a real game on my hand. You know, we, we've known each other for so long, you know. We, we go back 30 years plus. We, we know each other's game inside out. So, you know, I, I didn't think any further than, than the first hurdle. You know, I knew I'd have to be on my game to have any chance against him. And, and thankfully, I was. So... In answer to your question, no, not really. If you're going to win it, you've got to beat them all. So it doesn't really matter who you play. You know, it's just a question of if you're worrying about them, it means you, you, you're not concentrating on yourself. And all I'm concentrating on is me. Well, so far, so good. Well done, Darren. Thanks very much. So one Welshman is through. Another is about to take centre stage. Phil Williams up against David Lilly. Here's what they had to say at last night's launch. So in this tournament, you guys see that I try to keep the commentators and the shots much more longer. But I hope that it's working and it will have you guys have more experience. So today we will have four matches. <coughs> the next match, the next match will be David Lally with us Philip Williams and at 7 p.m. UK time we will have Stephen Henry with us Passy Fagan and the last match today will be Michael George with us Patrick Wallace so let's enjoy it thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next match bye bye